Welcome back to the TV Water Cooler Podcast. In this episode, we'll be speaking to three new house guests that will be entering the Big Brother Canada house. The season 12 premiere of Big Brother airs on Tuesday, March 5th at 7 p.m. on Global and will also stream on Stack TV. I'm Matthew. I'm 27 years old. I'm from Surrey, BC, and I'm a kinesiologist and personal trainer. Awesome. And how familiar uh, are you with Big Brother? Uh, when did you start watching? To be honest, I'm not too familiar with Big Brother. I had watched uh, an American season beforehand. However, kind of through the process of being a finalist, I started watching. So I've seen one full season and then I'm halfway through another season right now in Canada. So I'm coming in with a little bit of inexperience. All right. Well, what made you want to try out for BB Can? Um, to be honest, I just think it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It kind of came knocking to the door and I just thought it'd be a good time to answer after COVID and everything. I haven't really traveled much. I've been really focused on my business and just the grind. So I've been really locked into that. However, I just thought you only live once. I'm not a very spontaneous person. And this was just a really good opportunity just to get out there and live in a once in a lifetime opportunity experience. All right. And uh, what life experiences do you think will uh, benefit you in in the BB Can house? Um, just from growing up in Surrey, I feel like I've lived in a very diverse community. Um, I played a lot of sports, individual and team sports. So I've just had the opportunity to be um, working with a lot of different type of people. Um, I've been the star player. I've been the role player. So I've just have the uh, tools and the characteristics to really help myself thrive in the game. Um, I feel like I have a good skills and tool set to kind of utilize throughout the game. I've been an athlete. Um, I've done really well in school. It just comes naturally to me. So I feel like I'll have a lot of tools that will help me thrive in the house. All right. And uh, would you be open to a showmance? Um, I am single, so I, I it was a possibility at the beginning. However, after watching season nine of Big Brother and kind of what happened with Jed, uh, it kind of the opportunity kind of dwindled a little bit, to be honest. I'm a, I'm a gamer, so I'm here to win, and I like to stay locked in and focused, so I'm trying to keep my eyes on the prize. All right, and speaking of, uh, you know, eye on the prize, uh, what types of fellow house guests uh, would you see yourself aligning with? I feel like I want to align myself with people that tick all the boxes to be strong and successful in the game. So kind of being someone who's good at physical challenges, I want to make sure I can tick all the boxes with uh, intellectual people, people have a strong social game, as well as people have really good memory, because I know in the later stages of the game, that's really important. I feel like I have, I'm very well rounded, and I can kind of do a little bit of everything. So I can kind of be that chameleon and play the role that I need to with my alliance. So I do definitely want to make sure we are a diverse alliance. All right. And are there any types of people that you usually have trouble getting along with? Uh, no, I'm a lover. I love to be around people. I'm really a positive guy. I'm energetic. Um, I, if, there, if I had to choose one type of person that I don't always get along with is probably someone who's just a negative person, always kind of, uh talking bad or putting out that bad energy so that's kind of the opposite of me so i'll probably stay away from that as i probably would clash heads a little bit with someone who's more negative okay and uh from the season and a half that you've watched of bb can and uh whatever you watch from the u.s version do you have a favorite player or someone that stands out um i really like kiefer um, from season nine, I just thought he was true to himself. However, he did realize it was a game and he was willing to kind of go outside of his characteristics because I saw him as a really trustworthy and loyal guy. But like he said throughout the game, I'm here to play. I'm here to win. And I see that with myself, too. I'm really a humble, uh, honest, upfront type of person. But I'm a gamer. And when like you step into that house or when you step onto the court of the field, Things change a little bit. We're not friends for this moment, but I'm sure I'll create some great relationships that uh, will be uh, carried on after the game. Awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing you play this season. Uh, best of luck. Okay. Um, my name is Bailey. I am 34. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I live in Toronto and I'm a personal trainer and a bartender. 
Awesome. Um, how familiar uh, were you with the Big Brother fan franchise and when did you start watching? Um, I've been a fan of Big Brother since the very first U.S. version. So I would say I'm I'm pretty much a super fan of the show. Uh, what made you want to try out for BB Can? And is this your first time trying out as, you know, because you're a super <laughs> fan? <laughs> This is not my first time trying out. Um, I started auditioning since season one. I think I missed a couple seasons in there, but I've I'd auditioned a few times. Um, and I've always wanted to do something like this. I've always like played sports and been in competitions, but to this level of like a social game, a physical game, a mental game, these are all things that excite me and bring me joy. Um, and I studied psychology, so I'm really into the human experience as well. So just all of it, being a social person and of course, money is on the line. So I'll never shy away from that. <laughs> right. Oh, what life experiences uh, do you think will, will benefit your game in the BB Can house? I think the fact that I grew up playing sports will have a very big impact on how I play the game. Um, building alliances, being a team player, just having that drive to win is just ingrained in me. Um, and also every job that I've had is very social. Just the two jobs I currently do now, personal training and bartending, I'm interacting with a lot of different people all the time and trying to figure out ways that motivate them and how to get to their goals, which I guess could kind of come into how to manipulate people as well. <laughs> very interesting. Uh, would you be open to a showman's? No, I am happily in a relationship. So showman's is off the table. All right. Uh, what type of fellow house guests would you see yourself aligning with? I think I would align myself with someone who's strong, someone who is like mentally and physically strong, someone who is a little bit more patient than I am. I kind of need the yin to my yang, um, who's maybe more calm, has less of a temper than me. Um, but someone who I can essentially trust and confide in and feel safe to be vulnerable around. Okay. And what type of people would you say that you have a problem getting along with? Mm. I would say I have a problem getting along with people who are not genuinely coming off as themselves. Um, people that I can't get a good read on or people that I think are coming off as inauthentic. Um, those people I have a hard time building a connection with and without me having a connection with someone, it's hard for me to trust them or understand their motives. So yeah, I think people that I can see are are not being true to themselves. Okay. And do you have a favorite player from BB Can or BB US? Oh my gosh. Um, I have a few different players for different reasons. For BB US, like my top favorites will probably be Evil Dick. Um, and like Jeff and Jordan, the both of them. Um, just, I like the evil geniuses. So like Kevin Jacobs is one of my favorites as well. But then, and Ika Wong, also iconic. Um, I like people that stand out. I like people, again, who are not afraid to be who they are, whatever that is. So when they show up as themselves, whether that is an evil genius or like a pure, genuine, nice person, I just think someone being themselves is the most powerful player that they and be so I look up to those people awesome that was a great answer thank you so much uh best of luck this season can't wait to see it hi my name is Evic. I'm 25 years old from St. John New Brunswick and I work as a soft developer all right uh how familiar were you with Big Brother uh, when did you start watching uh I I've been watching Big Brother since I was little so probably when the very first season came out that's when I started I don't remember my age at the moment but uh it was definitely around like 15 to 14 is when I first started watching. And I really fell in love with the show so much that I couldn't wait another season. So I started watching Big Brother USA, UK, Australia, something in Big, Big Boss in India. Yeah. So I really fell in love with the show. And it's, yeah, it's a dream come true to be even sitting here. All right. Well, what made you uh, decide to, to try out for Big Brother Canada? Is this your first time trying out or? No. So th this is this is my third time trying out for the show. Um, I tried, as soon as I turned 19, I applied. I didn't care to call back, unfortunately. But then again, I tried again last year. Uh, didn't make it very far, but this year I tried again. And here I am sitting in front of you. So it's a real proud moment. Oh, well, congrats. Um, what life experiences do you think uh, will benefit you in the BB Can house? Um, 
some of the experiences that I've been through in my life, uh, definitely a lot of hard work and discipline. So I'm, I'm also part of the Canadian Armed Forces. So I have a little bit of reserves background. Uh, so a lot of dis discipline and um, hard work instilled inside me. Um, I also, growing up, was in the teenage years, I was in cadets as well. So six years of that, it's also military related. Um, and then also a big experience was probably moving from India to Canada when I was really young. Um, we lived a really uh, harsh lifestyle that we lived as soon as we came to Canada because we, we let go of everything we had back home. So starting a brand new life, uh, growing up in a motel room, like it, it really teaches you discipline and hum being humble about things you have in life. So definitely going to bring that into the Big Brother Canada house uh, as well. No, I love the game itself, right? And I've seen so many seasons. I think the knowledge that I have for the game is definitely going to help me in the game as well. So Awesome. Now seeing those seasons, um, there are showmances. Would you be open to a showmance? Absolutely. If I have to really, you know, use my flirtatious side to get advantage in the game, I will without a doubt use it. There's no doubt in my mind. Um, but my main focus is really winning the hundred thousand dollars. All right. Now, um, what types of fellow house guests would you see yourself aligning with? Um, I'm gonna base this off kind of the friends I have close to me. So a lot of people I get along with are usually like kind of like the jocks. Uh, the guys that are just really easygoing and really competition beasts. So those are the kinds that I kind of want to align myself with. But then again, I still want to make sure that, and I've, it's happened in my past as well, I stay really close to the, the goody two-shoe girls, the girls that are kind of laid back, but know what's going on as well. So I think those are the people I see myself aligning with. Awesome. Uh, what type of people would you say that you have trouble getting along with? Definitely the people that are super technical, super detail oriented. Uh, they can't relax. They're always just like, oh, what's going on? Always like their mind is always racing with things and they just, they're always stressed out. Those people I just, I, I always need to step away from and breathe because they make me anxious. Right. Uh, uh, do you have a favorite player uh, from BB Can or US or any of the other uh, uh, versions that you've seen? Definitely my favorite player of all time was Kevin Jacobs, who won season 10. That guy, was, the way he played the game was just admirable. Like, he really downplayed who he was in the beginning of the game, and at the end, he just showed his true colors. People started to notice. And when it came to Final Two and he gave the speech, it just, oh, it was bright. I, I loved his whole gameplay that he had. Awesome. Well, best of luck. Can't wait to, to watch this season and see how, how you do.